Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make this new model I just designed. Check it out. It is a container. And yeah, and what I like about this container is at the top right here. It's um, it's it's smaller up here, but the bottom of it, you know, it's a lot bigger. So yeah, so it's there's a lot of space inside here. And the really cool thing about it is that place it on the, the table like this. And if you blow on one of these flaps here, it spins just like that. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to show you how to fold it now. Want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Alright, so for this model, I'm going to use um, a 6 inch square of origami paper. Double sided origami paper that's red on one side and yellow on the other. Alright, but you can use a sheet of printer paper cut square. So, um, for a red box with yellow inside, begin yellow side up and fold in half. Or um, if you're using a, like a, a regular square of kami or something like, for example, like red on one side and, and white on the other, then begin white side up, all right? If you want to make a, um, a red box with white inside. <laughs> all right, like that, and unfold, and fold in half this way. We're making a water bomb base, all right? And fold this point up like this. And turn over like this and fold this up. Okay, now open the, the pocket here and bring the sides together like this and flatten it. Okay, so now um, we're going to take this point and we're going to fold it to this point right here, but we're not going to make the whole fold, we're just going to make a pinch mark right here. See? Just like that. Just make a little crease mark. And now unfold and now um, we're going to take this crease mark and we're gonna fold it we're gonna take it we're gonna we're gonna put it to this point right here all right so um so it's gonna look like that so just take that crease mark and fold it to the top and again we're not gonna make the whole fold we're just gonna make a pinch mark right here so like that and unfold and now take this point and fold it to this pinch mark right here all right make sure the edge of the line right here too just like that. And now we're going to repeat on the remaining three flaps. And on the remaining three flaps, we don't need to make the pinch marks anymore. All right. So, um, but we, we need to make sure that um, these right here, when we fold these up, we have to make them rotationally symmetric. All right. That way they all go in the same direction like this. All right. So, um, let's fold this flap over like this. And turn over on this side and fold this over like this. All right, here, I'm going to make it brighter. There, that's better. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to fold this up. And yes, we're not making the pinch marks. So we're just going to fold it up so that um, the fold we're making aligns with this edge right here. And make sure that the edge is aligned right here too. All right, just like this. Crease sharply. Okay, now fold this over, turn over, and fold this over like that. And repeat. So fold this up so that the folder making aligns with this edge below. And make sure the edges align here. And one last time, fold this over, and fold this over, and repeat. Like this. Okay, so, um, I'm going to lower my camera now. Okay, so now we're going to do is um, we're going to take this edge and we're going to fold it to this edge and hold the layers down so it doesn't so it doesn't slide all right just fold it like this pretty sharply and now we're going to take this point and we're going to fold it to this point right here and and actually i recommend just leaving a little gap in between there so we make the fold first so see there's i left a little bit of space a little gap right there I don't know if you can, it's kind of hard to, okay, see, there's the gap right there. So just leave like a, probably a millimeter of space in between there. That way when we fold this over, it won't mess up the edges, all right? It won't interfere. So um, now fold this down like that over the edge and unfold. Now comes probably the most trickiest step. We're going to open this um, pot. It's kind of like we're making a water bomb, all right? So we're going to open this pocket here like that. Just put your finger all the way inside. And we're going to tuck this flap inside that pocket. 
Make sure you kind of curl the flap first so it's easier and just tuck it in. All right. It's harder for me because I'm looking at the camera as I'm doing this, the camera screen. <laughs> but yeah, just tuck it in just like that. <laughs> and do that with the remaining three flaps, all right? And I'm gonna fast forward this part. Okay, just like this. Okay, so now we're gonna fold this up in between these two points here, like this, and make sure that this point aligns with this crease right here. Like this, and unfold, and turn over, and let's um, do this, just run your finger now over the crease just to kinda, like that, and we're gonna reverse the crease, so here we go. Like that, that way it's genderless, so it's not a mountain or a valley, it's just a crease, okay? Alright, so now we're going to open the box now. So, so all we have to do is just open um, the box here, start from the top, and put your finger inside and just let these creases come out like that. Alright, and just open it up. This is the fun part. <laughs> okay, so this is a nice box right here, you can put like whatever you like inside. Put something inside of it. I'm gonna see if I can put something inside. Oh, here's something I made. This is this is that origami turkey leg or whatever that I taught. I taught this model on Thanksgiving in like 2018. So yeah, a couple years ago. And for that tutorial, click right here. And uh, yeah. And if you want to make it spin on the table like I did with this one, <laughs> then um here's what you want to do. So, um, we're going to open this flap, just unfold it like that partially, and we're going to open this pocket up. Okay, just like that. Open the, the, the red pocket, alright? See, I think there's another pocket in here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's another pocket in there. I see. Yeah, there is. Just open the red pocket, alright? See, I see a, a, a yellow line right here. Okay, just open them up, and, and, and just leave them like that. Just open them up, alright? And repeat all the way around. Yep, open the red pocket. You can probably try it with the, the yellow pocket if you want, or whatever color it is. But um, I didn't do that yet, so I just recommend just opening the red pocket. Alright. Just open them up. Like that. And be careful that the flaps don't come out. Alright, the flaps that you tucked in. If you're not careful enough, they might come out. <laughs> Okay, just like that. And now just kind of shape it to taste. Alright, now, um, you just hold it like this, make it like that, and see this point is what makes it spin well. And you, wait, and, and you, have to, you have to blow on the model. So you, you have to actually blow right on one of these flaps. So just blow inside one of those flaps and it'll spin. <laughs> see, just like that. Isn't that cool? So yeah, it's a nice spinner, and it's e it's really easy to spin too. That's the good news about it. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Let me see if I can spin both of them. Here I have another one right here. Red and blue paper. <laughs> see, just like that. Or let's blow them away. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed folding this. Hope you're able to. And comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Alright, bye-bye.